YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now this video right here comes out of Minnesota, but we have a pastor, a guy, an elder in the church who was a former pastor, if you will. He's not a pastor now, but of course he's in prison now, but he was a former uh, pastor, an elder in the church, and he held, he held a few key positions in the church, and he decided out of to do one thing was to kill his wife. I guess he grow tired of her or whatever, and he decided to go on the internet, the dark web that is, for those of you who heard of the dark web, and if you haven't, uh, it's a lot to it, but it's a lot that's false to it also, but that's a different topic for a different video. And out of all things, he decided to pay the hitman in Bitcoin. For those of you who don't know who Bitcoin is, it's this new uh, electronic spending, this currency they got going on around, and it's supposed to be a huge thing in the future where they're trying to replace money with uh, electronic forms of payment, if you will. So I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I will give my opinion. Surely as we go. A church elder's Ashley Madison affairs led him to the dark web and murder, police say. Church going Midwestern folks don't normally land on the wrong end of a Bitcoin murder contract. So the news about Amy Alwyn was, was, was bizarre, excuse me, sound like a B right then. It was May 2016 on a dark web. Hackers had cracked into Bessa Mafia, a website that claimed affiliation with Albanian organized crime and offered to arrange beatings and assassinations for a price. Beatings and assassin, assassinations. Ain't that something for a price? And this is the stuff that you have on dark web. You like you have snuff films, you have kitty porn, you have all kinds of just the grossest things that you can imagine. Top secrets, stuff you wouldn't even imagine. Now, emails between the site and potential clients, a treasure trove of illicit material leaked across the web, eventually landing at the FBI. As investigators sifted through the material, they zero in on an exchange between a user called Dog Day God, who they determined was trying to arrange the murder of a woman by the name of Amy Alwyn from a suburb outside St. Paul, Minnesota, according to court records. Now, the key thing is because not only do you tell the story, well, I, not only do I tell the story, but I try to inform people too. Now, notice when they said, as investigators sifted through the material, the material on what? The dark web. What was on the dark web? Uh, these uh, organized crimes and stuff setting up uh, hits and assassinations, if you will. So, how did the FBI come across this? Huh, you know why? Because they got access to it. It ain't no damn secret shit. They're the ones putting this stuff up there. Who you think running these damn servers? It's nothing on the face of this earth. You know what I'm saying? That ain't watched by someone somewhere. Remember that. So when you think you're being slick, you're not really being slick. You're really setting yourself up. Because the key thing is to read what people say. Now, she tore my family apart by sleeping with my husband and is stealing clients from my business. Use the dog day God explain to Bessa Mafia adding the death should look like an accident. That image was hard to sync with Amy's life. The 43 year old ran her own dog training business. She and her husband Stephen had met at a Christian college and were members of a local United Church of God congregation according to news reports. Stephen served as a church elder and offered marriage counseling to couples they had adopted a son. So here's not only a guy who this, uh, hold a key position in his church but he's counseling young couples giving them relationship advice, marriage advice and then his wife is uh, from from the sounds of it is an upstanding woman, got a dog training uh, business and she's also very active in the church and they met at a Christian college what could possibly go wrong? That's why you have to be careful when you say when people tell you, oh you want somebody good go to the church, go find my church I thought the same damn thing and I damn near lost my damn life fooling with that crazy bitch if you will and that's exactly what she is and i don't care what nobody say because you don't you don't know the pain that i went through with that woman but anyway let's continue right there and and and, and i didn't have, try to have her kill i was trying to get my ass away before i was gonna get, end up getting killed you know what i'm saying talking about go to the church and found somebody and i hell and i did and that ended up being the worst day for, worst mistake of my life and that shit still affect me to this damn day i'll still be twitching like smoky off a of friday sometime now Local law enforcement met with the Iowans about the alleged threats. The Pioneer Press reported, but there was little they could do about an uh, excuse me. There were little they could do about an anonymous internet user apparently plotting to take her life. Beyond suggesting increased security. What do they mean by increased security? It's supposed to be on a dark web where everything is a uh, secret. You like the Tor browser for those who know about that, which uh done been infiltrated by the CIA and FBI who you think put this stuff up so if they said we're going to improve the security uh the improved security and they are monitoring all these transactions then how a lot of all this stuff able to happen you see what I'm saying how all these drug drugs able to get in the 
go all over the world. These illicit uh, items, uh, pornography, weapons, animals. They, I mean, they trade every damn thing. You see what I'm saying? Now, uh, they said there was little they could do about an anonymous internet user apparently plotting to take her life beyond suggesting increased security. In August, Stephen got a permit for a 9mm Springfield SDS handgun. Authorities say he ready to knock somebody damn noodles out with that. Now, but the dark well machine nations suddenly took on significance in November 2016 when Amy Allen was discovered dead on the floor of her bedroom. Initially thought to be a suicide, police soon suspected foul play. Within months, they would allege Stephen Allen was actually Dog Day God. He had killed his wife at the best of mafia failed to come through. He said, well, y'all can't do it with them. Uh, if you want a job done right, you got to do it yourself. That type of situation right there. That's why you got to be careful. And I don't understand why people kill their damn spouse. If you don't love me, just let my ass go. I found somebody else that would love me and wash my drawers. I don't need you to shoot me and kill me. Shit, I am not going to kill you. But, hey, some people are ready for you to go meet your maker and let you go on. Now, this week, Alwyn went on trial for premeditated first-degree murder. The situation laid out by a prosecutor was a mix of religious guilt and piety, piety, I mean, on online double lives and desperate measures. According to the prosecutor, Stephen, an internet technology specialist, had begun cheating on his wife using the infidelity site. Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison done brought a lot of people down. It done brought somebody down I knew, and they were supposed to be happily married for five years. Shit, I told them five years ain't long enough to get y'all feet wet. Come back and talk to me after 10 years and we're going to see if you still got that same uh, smile and that spunk inside of you, if you will. But to him, divorce was not an option. Steve is like, I'm not finna divorce you. You know what I'm saying? This is till death do us apart and we're not going to wait until the Lord decide when that death is. I'm going to decide when it is. Now, he was seeing other women, but he didn't want to divorce her because of his position in the church. He didn't want his spot to be blowed up, just like we say in layman terms. Now, Washington County Prosecutor Jamie Cruiser told a jury this week, the Star Tribune reported, Stephen's attorney, Kevin DeVore, emphasized in his opening remarks there was little physical evidence tying his client to the crime. It sounds like an amazing story, which it does, but it's not a TV show or a movie, but real life, the attorney said. Added, just because he had an affair doesn't mean he killed his wife, but it does give him a motive to kill his wife. You know what I'm saying? I should have been a damn lawyer, damn computer science. Divorce and its religious implications within Alwyn's faith is the central piece of the prosecution's theory. The United Church of God has conservative views on marriage. True, they do. Now, couples who decide to marry are expected to know one another well enough before they marry in order to access as closely as possible how they would get along after marriage. That's why I tell people all the time, get to know the person real well. Don't marry nobody just because they got a damn baby or they say they have a baby by you because the baby might be by somebody damn else and they might tell you they love you and wish they really don't. You might have a nice car. You might have a nice house. You might have rich parents. You might have a trust fund set up. You might just look damn good. You know what I'm saying? Or you might just got uh, a good package and woman, you might got a good cookie. People marry people for a lot of reasons. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's it's very slim chance, 30% chance that it's out of love most of the time, if you will. It's mostly like friends with benefits, if you will. Now, the church strongly recommends counseling with the ministry. The church's website says even if couples have a short courtship, fail to counsel before marrying or have dysfunctional backgrounds, none of these recognized troubles justify the latter putting a way of divorcing a mate with the freedom to remarry. Marriage is a commitment for life, and it's very true, it is. Failure to plan properly is not grounds for the future of dissolving a marriage, but try to make it work out. So these people, you know what I'm saying, pretty much like, we got to work this out. If you don't work it out, they're just, you know what I'm saying, you're just going to be stuck. So Stephen was like, the hell with this shit. I can't deal with this. You know what I'm saying? I got to put it down. I got to go on with my life. I got all these freaks on Mad Madison, Ashley Madison hitting me up in my DMs and stuff. Stephen was trying to get rid of it. But at the same time, he should have let his wife go on by a business. Don't sit up and kill the woman because you want to be a nasty dog. Now, prosecutors allege that Stephen first learned about Ashley Madison, a dating site for cheating spouses while counseling married couples in his congregation. Ashley Maddox ain't no damn dating site. Ashley Maddox is an elf site. And I'm not trying to even say that, uh, that word elf, but it rhymes with luck if you know what I mean. He had affairs with at least two women he met on the site. See what I'm saying? Now, how can you date somebody and you already done knocking boots with them like H-Town and stuff? How you? How is that a dating site? That, that's a damn elf site like Facebook is, you know what I'm saying, after 10 o'clock. Law enforcement alleged 
Wishing to end his marriage but denied divorce, Stephen allegedly burrowed into the dark web for an answer. Like, I got to find an answer. He didn't wait for God to send him no answer. He didn't wait for uh, Trump to send no answer. No, he, he got his own answer some kind of way. Now, Bessa Mafia, however, was not actually an outfit of Albanian contact killers. Wow. It was a ruse for you fools to go there and sign up. And a lot of all these other websites to get your ass signed up so they can put your ass in that system. Okay, we need to monitor this fool because he's trying to kill his wife. Heightened security. You run while every time you walk outside, you see a car or two parked outside or a van or something. You thinking that it's somebody else. Oh, hell no. They watching your ass. You know what I'm saying? Now, we have zero information at this point that any of the hits that were ordered on that website were actually carried out. A Minnesota detective told Fox 9. In fact, there is pretty good evidence, I think, that it was just a scam. See, they're not going to never let you know all the secrets. You see what I'm saying? That's why you have to pay attention to what? Detail. The man said, we have zero information at this point that any of the hits that were ordered on that website were actually carried out. Well, why? what the hell is the website doing up? How is this so prestigious? How, 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 how so many people came across it if it's not nobody's getting killed? You go in there expecting somebody to get killed the whole time. You setting yourself up to the FBI and the police. You feel what I'm saying? Because it was a ruse. It was it was fake. It was it was used there to sit up there as a, as a dummy decoy for you dummies to go there and try, and try to, to get rid of your spouses or you try to put hits on your bosses or whoever the hell else. You see what I'm saying? It's just to indict your ass. That's pretty much what it is. And it's amazing how some of these people who's supposed to be so smart can't figure that out. I don't understand that. And then the detective went on to say, in fact, there's pretty good evidence. I think it was just a scam. That's just to let you know, ha, 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 the joke's on your ass. Now, Dog by Day paid the site at least 6000 in Bitcoin to arrange Amy Alwyn's death, prosecutor says. The user provided details of her movements, but the hit never happened. Instead, on November 13th, Stephen called 911. He, he and his son had just found Amy's body, he reported. Police arrived around 7 p.m., discovering Amy on the floor of the couple's bedroom, blood pooling out of a gunshot wound in her head. Poor lady, the Pioneer Press reported. A handgun, the 9mm Springfield SDS Stephen had purchased three months earlier, was lying near her left forearm. It initially appeared Amy had killed herself, but investigators quickly decided it was meant to look that way. There were no powder burns or stippling on the victim's head, meaning the gun was not pressed against the, her temple when it was fired. Because just like if, uh, for those of you who, who shoot guns regular, if you get too close, that, that, powder, that, that powder will burn you. See what I'm saying? And for somebody to have a gun pressed to hit her real close, it would show that, 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 uh, that mark, that indenture on them. Now... Gunpowder and blood also were not detected on Amy's hands also. The gun was lying on her left side, but she was right-handed. The house's security camera footage showed only Stephen entering and exiting the property. Prosecutors say that this damn fool didn't have enough sense to even set up his damn cameras where they had recorded another time or cut him off. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like it was just meant for him to get caught. And, that, and that, that's how you know that it's some divine intervention working on some of these people's death because some of these people plan this shit out for months and months and still get caught by the stupidest things. Now, police detected traces of bloody finger footprints, excuse me, between the kitchen and the bedroom. The medical examiner also found swimming in Amy's system a large amount of uh, scoplamine, a nausea treatment that can incapacitate someone who takes high doses. She had no prescription for the drug, so he basically doped her up with this uh, powerful tranquilizer type thing that make you just sleep, just put you out of misery. Probably that shit the doctor was giving uh, Michael Jackson. Now, gunshot residue was found on Stephen's right hand. Search warrants on Stephen's computer show he had been accessing the dark web since 2014, the city pages reported. Investigators also discovered a 35-character Bitcoin wallet address on a backup drive for the suspect's cell phone. Now, if that, if, if that just don't cease right there to amaze you right there, we're going to end it with this. The same code was used by Dog by Day in the user's transaction with the Bessa Mafia account, Prosecutor says investigators would later uncover that Dog by Day had posted on other dark websites searching for scopolamine in the Minneapolis area. So he already convicted himself, and in court they already uh, convicted the man and everything else. So he's pretty much done in their eyes right there. So they're just waiting for all the legalities to work through. But let me know what you all think about this situation right here, because this goes to show you that just because you married to somebody or people smile in your face does not mean they love you and have your best interests at heart. Don't you know when the uh, when the people who 
really have something to hurt you. They're not going to come to you in some red form or with horns or with a tail. They're not going to come looking all, all, all like that. No, they're going to come with a smile, with a hug. And with that hug, they're going to embrace you with this left hand and they're going to stab you with the right hand. Or if they, you know, right hand, they're going to embrace you with the right hand and stab you with the left. That type of thing. It comes with a smile. You see what I'm saying? But when you start thinking that things going wrong, if you have any inclinations of this person trying to do you harm, Get away from these people because you should know by now after all these stories and stories that will continue to come out long after I'm gone that you have to position yourself and align yourself with people who have your best interests at heart because a person who really sincerely care about you, not even love you, but care about you, is not going to want to hurt you. You feel what I'm saying? You don't have to love somebody and not want to hurt them. But this guy is so low down and other people like him are so low down, they would rather kill you instead of going on living the promiscuous life that they live. I don't understand that. Let me know what you all think about this video if you like the video push that like button if you like subscribe definitely share the video until next time y'all stay blessed and if these marriages and these relationships are not working get the hell out of them because it's no use of you having to kill somebody or you having to kill somebody to defend yourself because they're trying to take you out of here because they want to live their life however they want or want uh the insurance money let me know i'm out